Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today we're looking at the new Divi Update version 4.14. It is new WooCommerce modules for the cart and checkout and there's some other changes as well. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk through it. I'm gonna take a look at everything that's new, show you some of the things that I've noticed and yeah, just give you an overview. Um, everything that's new, what to expect for you so you can dive into this. All right, let's get started here. All right, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you know the drill. The link to my actual blog post is in the description. All right, so let's take a look here. Summary of what's all new. Now, the first thing I noticed when I updated is the new interface for adding the modules to your layout. Um, so what we're gonna do actually, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna use a demo site here now this is how it looks without updating. Notice how, I now have WooCommerce installed, of course. When WooCommerce is installed, that's when these modules show up. So anyway, here are here is how they were before 4.14. All right, everything's in a list, it's just, everything's there. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna update and show you what happens. All right, so I just updated. Now when I go to insert a new module, as I scroll down, Notice how all of them are combined into this Woo modules. Like it's like a module, but it's really when I click on that, then we're like in an inner list here, which is really cool. It's like it reminds you of like when you're editing a module, right? So then there's all of these items. And um, the first thing, yeah, that was the first thing you notice, the user interface, how they're grouped together like that. Okay. Um, now even if you were on this home screen, if you start typing like woo something, they show up there on that home screen. It's not like you have to go into that. You know what I mean? If you're like looking for a certain module, I know I'm, I'm going to add, add to cart, right? There, I just type and it's right there. So, so don't worry about that. Um, anyway, I, I, that was the first thing I noticed. Now, the other thing I noticed was everything kind of has like a, like a word at the beginning now. So like product, cart, or checkout. So there's new cart and checkout modules before they were all mostly on the product page. So it kind of makes sense that, you know, now we would say woo product title or woo cart details, or you know what I mean? Something you're saying like woo and then where it belongs, like a designation and then the module. So a couple of them don't follow that. So anyway. <laughs> Most of them do. So that's another thing. So you'll notice a list of name changes. So like the shop module, just, just throwing this out there, this is gonna be tricky. The shop module is now just Woo Products. You know, we're so used to calling it the shop module. Um, so if I say shop, there's nothing, right? Nothing comes up. But if I say products, wow, there's a lot of, of products. But if I just say, yeah, Woo Products, there's cart products related products, but just woo products. And that's gonna appear as like, well, it's the shop module, it is. Woo breadcrumbs is the same. Woo title is now woo product title, right? Woo images, woo product images. Kind of makes sense. Um, and on down through with all the things on the product page. Uh, let's see. Yeah, woo upsell, woo product upsell. Woo cart notice is now woo notice and you'll you'll see why. Now, as far as the actual new modules, there's eight of them, and they're all related to the cart and checkout. I'm a little disappointed. I was just hoping to get some, like, you know, for the account page, um, but apparently they, yeah, apparently not. Um, maybe in the in the future, I don't know. Anyway, there's there was 17 modules related to WooCommerce in prior versions, and now there's 25 total. So 25 WooCommerce related modules is is quite a lot. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at them. One thing I noticed is is this product offset number. So there were some some features that were like kind of snuck in there. Right here it is. So again, this was like the shop module. They added the product offset number. Now you may be familiar with this in the blog. Um, like let's say for example, I wanted to highlight one post and have it like a horizontal layout, and then three more or something. You could use the offset number and put it as one and you'd skip that first one in your second module. I know that's confusing. Anyway, for our D 
Divi Carousel Maker plugin. So when we released this, we wanted to be, you can put any modules into this. We wanted it to work with WooCommerce, obviously, to show a carousel of products. So let me show you that. Here's, here's a couple demos. So like each one of these products is actually a separate shop module or Woo products module now. And we did this using the offset feature. So we have quantity of one and then offset. So each so the first one is zero offset, then one offset, then two offset. And it allows you to use individual modules, right? I'm not sure why they added it, um, but I'm I'm just gonna take credit for it that they added it because of we did. Um, yeah, maybe that's crazy, but um, I can't really think of a good use case other than our plugin, to be honest. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. So there's different modules. We're gonna talk about that one later, and let's get right into the new modules. Let's get to it. So basically. Um, the product page, not a whole lot changed. I looked through all the modules. I did not really necessarily see anything major that changed. Um, I, I, there, I think there were some things here and there. So let me know in the comments. I've, I'm probably missing it. I did not go through every setting. Absolutely not. I just looked through like the obvious stuff. Now, let's get to the cart and checkout pages. So let's say I'm looking at this product and I add to cart. All right, so then you know it, we get this notice, which again, this was the Woo Cart notice. Now it's just Woo notice. But if I say View Cart, now we're on the Cart page, and it's lovely, isn't it? No, I'm just kidding. It's terrible. So this is how it looks. This is how it's always looked. And when you would go up here and enable the Visual Builder, what would happen is then you'd have one short code that would display. It was the WooCommerce Cart short code. Okay. That was prior to 4.14. Now let's look what happens when I enable the Divi Builder on the cart page. Let's take a look. Now just look at what's here. Just look at what's here. So you have the cart and you have like this table and like the totals and the sidebar. So, And this is kind of what would happen on product pages. It converts everything to modules. So now where it says cart, well now well, now that's a post title module. Makes sense. This notice is showing like some preview things of some various notices. Now it's the Woo Notice module, but the page type is set to the cart page. Now, if back on the product page when it said, hey, your product is added to cart and then clicked view to cart, it was set to product page. Same module. So it's in a sense we're gaining. Yeah, almost like gaining new modules, but um, and then it'll be on checkout page for the checkout. So anyway, that one's there. The next one is a new one also, um, or a, a new one. It's called the cart products. Now, this has a lot of settings. See how we can have like the the button there. We could we could uh, turn off things. Could turn off the update cart button right there product featured image. See, I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, the layout, we can choose horizontal or vertical. Oh, interesting. Did not see that before. Okay, that could be nice. Huh. And then there's just all kind of design settings. Um, remove icon, you know, like when you hover over the icon here, watch this. See, it puts that orange See what I'm doing there? Uh, there's just lots of design settings. Let's keep moving. This is a new one, brand new one. Cross cells, Woo cross cells. So again, in that short code that used to be there, if you had any products linked as a cross cell in WooCommerce settings, they would appear here. Um, so now you'll have to, you know, remember to put them here. But now you can up, you know, edit this. It, it's it's very very similar to the shop module, the products module. It's almost the same thing, it just doesn't have the options to choose products, obviously, because they're just cross-sell. They're cross-sell to whatever's in the cart. The next one here is just cart totals. And again, we have lots of design settings. Here, I'll put it on the side. I don't like it on the side, but for showing you, it might be better. Like uh, column labels, body text, see how it highlights, I'm pointing to my screen. Uh, 
table row. Yeah, let's just see that. Uh, table cells. Wow, so that's kind of the same. You can you can design anything you want now. Buttons, so yeah, like if I wanted to, you know, make style the add to cart button and all that. So everything that you're seeing on the page can be adjusted. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna save those changes because yeah, it's exactly what we want. Um, let's proceed to checkout. All right, and here is the wonderful checkout page. It's beautiful, it's highly converting. I'm kidding, obviously. Now, it, yeah, I don't even know why they have the sidebar here, but again, in, in prior versions, you enable the builder. One short code would get added when you enable the builder. Now, let's take a look. So we have the post title module again. Here we have a whole bunch of notices. And just not to freak you out, but like it's just showing you possible things. Like returning customer. Well, then there's things. And have a coupon here. A coupon does not exist. They're not all going to show. It's just a lot of these things on this page in particular, they're going to show depending on things. Um, on various conditions. So like, again, like if you're, if you're not logged in, it's gonna show this login. Let me just show you real quick, like some of the stuff it has, like these input fields, um, the, the background color, I could, the, the placeholder color, uh, the focus background color, when you click the type, right? You know, I could change that. Anything here, the margins, paddings, border radius of these fields, buttons, any buttons, even this little thing here, the field, um, I saw, I forget what that, oh, and even like these asterisks, that's this one here, the asterisk, <laughs> that's great, yeah, here's the actual labels, anyway, you get the idea, everything can be adjusted, now let's move on, um, uh, the next module is the for the details when you're filling out your billing information. This one's billing and this one's shipping. There are a couple interesting settings like layout. Now I could choose full width. Notice how there's pointing to the screen again. First and last name. I could say all full width or all two columns. All right, or default where it's like certain ones are full width, certain ones are not. But just look at these settings. I, I do have to say something. As much as I was like not not like crazy excited about cart and checkout modules. They've done a great job of adding settings. I looked through there. I spent some time and went through these settings and I can't do that or this video would be forever long, but I was I was impressed. I had to admit that yes, even though it's like not a glamorous part of your website design. Like you know what I mean? Now it can be. Why not have think about conversion and and yeah. Um but I was just impressed that the team really did think through things. Um, just for example, like down here in this, in this there's more modules here. Um, <laughs> the checkout details, again, you can, you can mess around with everything here, play around with it. The idea is that there's just a setting for everything and that's great. But like payment details, I know on our site, like if I choose Stripe or PayPal, there's like this, even like a little, they call it a tool tip like there. So there's even settings for that, like where it little tells you a little thing about PayPal or a little thing about Stripe or like the radio buttons, like if you're selecting one or the other. So that's, that's really great. Um, they've, they've thought of all these conditions and they're not showing here because I don't, this is just a blank site. If I had some of those other, you know, payment options and stuff added on. Um, but yeah, go ahead and, and just browse through and see if you come to that same conclusion as me where it's like they've done a good job of thinking through settings. You know, I do this for a living with my own products. I sit and think through what settings are needed. So I can kind of say, you know, as someone who does this um, for a living, you might say that, that they've done a good job. Now over here on their blog post, they have some examples. In fact, you can actually view their demos here. So you look at, look at what you can do. Really nice. And of course, yeah, obviously, don't forget you can, you can combine other modules now. You know, obviously. But um, yeah, that's a nice cart page. They kind of put these like blurbs down here. 
Yeah, now this is a little gimmicky. It almost makes it look like there's multi-step checkout, but it's not really. This is just happens to be the design on this page. And if you were to go to the checkout page, which is linked, they're just changing the icon and stuff. But still, not sure about that. Yeah, that it, that's it. That's all I found. Um, I mean, it's great. It's a, Yeah, it's a great update. Um, yeah, let me know what we missed. I kind of have a sneak peek here at the bottom. Uh, I was expecting more... I guess I was, I guess I was expecting more things like, um, you know, add to product or view product buttons or short description on the, on the shop module, product module, stuff like that. I, I don't know. I guess I was expecting like improvements to the existing modules as well, but, um, which leads me into, I have at least a dozen, maybe 15 or so WooCommerce related tutorials coming up right here on the blog. I'm not sure when I'm going to start them. I have them all ready to go. I'm thinking probably pretty soon, December or January for sure, for, for definitely. Um, but uh, uh, keep watching for those. I'm gonna, I am I have a lot that are going to be pretty good related to Divi and WooCommerce. So while we're on that topic, let me know in the comments which tutorials you want to see. All right, great. So I'm going to stop. That's my take on the new update. Hopefully it was at least helpful. If you're not playing around with it, you can watch the video. Um, if again, if I missed something, I'm sure I missed something. I did not look over it. Um, I'll update the post. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll update the post. So yeah, you know, overall, what are my thoughts? It's I've said it, but like, I guess I was expecting more, but at the same time, it's also really well done what they did do. <laughs> so, um, and hey, it's the season of Thanksgiving. Let's be thankful for what we get, right? Um, yeah, thankful for the fact that Divi cares about WooCommerce. Uh, I know so many of us use WooCommerce all the time um, for, for products, uh, for clients and stuff. So let's just be thankful for that, that they really do care. And the fact that we can add these other modules so easily now into the, the cart and checkout pages. And let's, let's ask them for uh, some, some account modules or, or an account module or something, right? Like, don't we need something there? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, every Tuesday we do a tutorial. This one's a little different, more of an overview. Sometimes when Elegant Themes releases an update, I do an overview like this. So otherwise, uh, we're having tutorials every Tuesday right here. So if you're subscribed, that's what you'll get. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.